the glamorous life of celebrities, multiple homes, private travel, and extravagant vacations. Who doesn't dream of such a lifestyle? But being a celebrity can be quite costly, and despite their incredibly high incomes, A-listers tend to live expensive lives. Their public personas also mean that they and their families require high levels of security wherever they go, which doesn't always come so cheap and factor in financial abuse by dodgy managers, poor investment choices, drug addictions, gambling, and their lifestyles can lead to heavy debt. These surprisingly common problems mean that not all celebrities are able to maintain their health and wealth. Some of the most influential individuals in history have actually passed away with no money left. Curious to know more? Here are 15 famous people who blew their fortunes and died broke. This ride is going to be as bouncy as a broke actor's check, and the last one will definitely surprise you. Kicking off our list at number 15. Remember Gary Coleman? The tiny dynamo who found fame playing the role of Arnold Jackson in the sitcom Different Strokes. Gary was rolling in dough as the highest paid child actor in the 1970s and 80s, earning about $100,000 per episode at the height of his fame. However, he struggled financially in later life and successfully obtained $1.3 million US dollars by suing his parents and business advisor over misappropriation of his assets. He filed for bankruptcy and died in 2010 at the age of 42. Guess he couldn't say, what you talking about, Willis, when his debt collectors came knocking. Sliding in at number 14 is Marvin Gaye, the legend behind hits like What's Going On and Let's Get It On. Gaye had a voice that could heal the sexually starved, which won him many awards, but unfortunately his financial management skills weren't as powerful as his lyrics. He faced financial difficulties and struggled with drug addiction. In his later years, he filed for bankruptcy and was burdened with significant debt. To top it off, his life came to a tragic end when he was fatally shot by his own father in 1984, just a day before his 45th birthday. Talk about a final note that hit a sour chord. Glimmering in at number 13 is the star of The Wizard of Oz, Judy Garland, who attained international stardom and won many awards, including Golden Globe Awards and Grammy Awards. The famous Christmas classic, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, was sung by her. Regrettably, Garland's financial life was a nightmare. She struggled with drugs and alcohol abuse, often owing hundreds of thousands of dollars in back taxes before her demise in 1969 at the age of 47, and it is said that the IRS seized her residence posthumously. It's anybody's guess that she wasn't in Kansas anymore. Aiming for number 12 is Canadian teen idol Carrie Hyam, who soared high with the Lost Boys, but his real life was more like the Lost Checks. Corey had difficulty breaking away from the trauma of his experience as a child actor and was plagued by drug addiction throughout his adult life. But as it is, bad luck comes in threes, he also faced financial problems resulting in his bankruptcy filing. He passed away in 2010 at the age of 39 due to pneumonia. His family had to ask fans for help paying for the funeral. Checking in at number 11 is Mickey Rooney. Rooney had nine decades in the biz and over 300 films under his belt. He was the top box office attraction in the 1940s and one of the best paid winning many awards including a Golden Globe Award and an Emmy Award. Despite the millions of dollars he earned over the years, he was plagued by financial problems late in his life. Rooney had to file for bankruptcy multiple times, due to mismanagement of his finances and his longtime gambling habit which caused him to gamble away his fortune again and again. His personal property was valued at only $18,000 when he died in 2014 at the age of 93. Maybe he should have invested in fewer divorces. Landing in at number 14 is Emily Dickinson, the poet from the 19th century was little known during her life, but has since been regarded as one of the most important figures in American poetry. She lived much of her life in isolation, and although she was a prolific writer, only 10 of her nearly 1,800 poems and one letter were published during her lifetime. Emily Dickinson passed away in 1886 at the age of 55 in impoverished circumstances, with 40 volumes of her poetry published posthumously. At least she left a legacy of brilliant poetry and priceless words. Too bad the bank didn't accept them as payment. Making her mark at number 9 is Zora Neale Hurston the queen of Harlem Renaissance who penned amazing works like Their Eyes Were Watching God, but literary acclaim didn't pay bills, plus her novels went relatively unrecognized by the literary world for decades, until an interest in her work was revived by author Alice Walker. 
Hurston had to fight to make ends meet and faced a period of financial and medical difficulties. She was forced to enter into a welfare home where she died in 1960 at the age of 69. Her grave remained unmarked until Alice Walker purchased a headstone for her. Her story proves that not all heroes wear capes, some just need better royalties. Witty and wonderful at number 8 is Oscar Wilde, the highly influential Irish writer, with well-known works such as The Picture of Dorian Gray and The Importance of Being Earnest. Wilde was imprisoned in the UK for his homosexuality later in life, which caused a major decline in his health, finances, and social standing. He passed away in 1900 at the age of 46 with very little money. Well, it could be argued that being ahead of your time doesn't always pay, at least not in cash. Stepping into the spotlight at number seven is Mr. Show Business himself or Sammy George Davis Jr. Sammy scored a big hit with his song, The Candy Man which reached the top of the Billboard Hot 100 in 1972. But not even that sugary tune could sweeten his finances. Davis died in debt to the IRS in 1990 at the age of 64, and his estate was the subject of legal battles after the death of his wife. Dark and brooding at number 5 is Edgar Allan Poe, who created some of the spookiest stories ever conjured. Allen was best known for his poetry and short stories, particularly tales of mystery, macabre, and science fiction. His most successful poem, The Raven, was published in 1845 to instant success. Unfortunately for Edgar, his finances were a horror show too. He was the first famous writer to try making a living through writing alone, resulting in a financially difficult life and career. Despite creating fiction, he couldn't solve his own financial woes. Poe passed away in 1849 at the age of 40 under uncertain circumstances leaving behind very little, quote the raven, nevermore, to financial stability. Peeking in at number five is renowned actress Veronica Lake who captivated audiences in the 1940s with her roles in films such as Sullivan's Travels and I Married a Witch. Regrettably, Veronica struggled with schizophrenia and alcoholism, which contributed to her death in 1973 at the age of 50. She was penniless when she passed away. Her story echoes that even Hollywood glamour does hide deep struggles. Jazzing things up at number four is jazz legend Charlie Parker who blew his talent on stage and his money off stage. Despite his immense influence in music, Parker passed away in 1955 at the age of 34 with little to his name. Looks like improvisation didn't work out well for his wallet. Waltzing in at number three is Disney's golden boy Bobby Driscoll who starred in hits like Song of the South and received an Academy Juvenile Award. His life nosedived with drug addiction and prison time. After his release and in ill health from his substance abuse, and with his funds depleted, Driscoll died at the age of 31 in 1968 and was buried in an unmarked grave. From Disney darling to forgotten casualty, a reminder of the fleeting nature of fame. Boxing in at number two is the Brown Bomber, or Joe Lewis, who ended his days far from the glory of the ring. Joe was regarded as one of the greatest and most influential boxers of all time, being victorious in 25 consecutive title defenses and had the longest single reign as champion of any boxer in history. While he amassed a fortune during his career, he unfortunately passed away with very little left. Lewis experienced financial troubles throughout his life including poor investment choices and issues with taxes. Tragically, he passed away in 1981 at the age of 67 from cardiac arrest after suffering from substance abuse and mental health issues for years. His funeral was paid for in part by a former competitor. Well, even champions can face KOs outside the ring. And finally kicking in at number one. This one might be the most surprising for you. Michael Jackson was one of the most successful artists of all time with over 500 million records sold worldwide. He was known as the King of Pop and received a tsunami of awards, too many to mention. I'm sure by now you are asking, how dare you? However, it was reported that MJ's financial life was a thriller of mismanagement, and he moonwalked his way into a debt of more than 500 million US dollars at the time of his death. Following his demise in 2009 at the age of 50, due to an overdose of propofol administered by his personal physician, his estate went into bankruptcy but later generated $2 billion US dollars posthumously. His televised memorial service held in Los Angeles was estimated to have been viewed by more than 2.5 billion people. 
Looks like his finances were as dramatic as his dance moves. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like and share this video with your friends, and most importantly stay sharp in your finances and avoid drugs and gambling unless you're aspiring to make this list someday.